we're already gossiping again yeah. here now. Uh, what a weekend on Love Island. I mean, just what a series. I so know. It is, it is really exciting this year. Phil, you were just saying how you're getting into it as well, I just you? think, I've just I've got to say that I don't see a couple in mm. there. If you were going to vote, um, if you were actually looking at Sarah, who's who's your favourite? You go yeah. for individual guys or individual girls, not Absolutely necessarily that. a couple. Yeah. I feel like this year everyone's kind of changing their mind so much. That's why obviously we've got like the love triangle now between Michael, Joanna, and Amber. Amber's saying Michael still likes her. He's saying bluntly, I don't. And they've got like this kind of dispute now where. They were arguing over who likes who. It's very strange. I thought Joanna last night was, was really grown up about it, yeah. I have to say, and just said, well, you know what, I'm going to get the pair of them, you know, both in front of me at the same time, I'm just going to hash this out. And of I think course. she did the right thing. Well, I mean, it was awkward. Let's have a look at Michael's chat with Amber. Like, oh, really, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's fine. It is fine, but it's just not very nice. No, no, it's not very nice. I just thought that it, everything would be OK, like, I really did. And I just, like, I do feel like it's partly my fault and, like, it's just upsetting. I know that you've got a heart of gold. I know you do. You've just got a strange way of, like, showing it sometimes. <laughs> I know that. See, unless... Well, I don't know what that means. Well, obviously, it's an edited show, so unless we're not seeing the whole conversation here, but he, there's not one point there that he said to her, I don't want to be with you, this is it, definitely. But then he didn't the do that. Time, he hasn't really said to her that he does. He wants to be, yeah. I feel like he's a little bit nervous, he doesn't know what to is say. It be <laughs> is it because everybody knows the show so well now? We all, we all know how it works, we all know that it consumes our summer. <laughs> that you go in there and they're playing the game more than, than actually looking I don't know. I yeah. think in that situation, he just doesn't want to upset her. I think he knows how he feels, but no-one wants to see a girl cry in front of you and you want no. to put her down. Apart from Curtis the other night. When oh, he was my, just he was We'll get onto that later. Goodness. But, um, yeah, I don't think he wants to upset her, but talking about couples that are happy in love, I yeah. would say, we saw a little exclusive on After Sun yesterday where Tommy might be asking Molly to be his girlfriend. Let's have a look at this. Right now, it's the perfect time. That clip. Can we, if we recue that clip, what? Curtis's like Curtis letting... reaction. <laughs> so when someone tells him news, <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> what what the is hell? going on? What happened there? Yeah, there's a time and a place, mate, and that's <laughs> not it. Just, he just forgot the cameras are running. Overly excited. Um, so yeah, that could be the first couple, like proper boyfriend and girlfriend. They seem quite smitten, don't well, they? Well, I think they're our, they're our only solid couple. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you ask and, me. Um, and yeah. tonight we could have our and a dump in who, who's going to go with that? Because there's not that many solid couples. You can't predict. So it could be anyone. Obviously, the singles are immune, but um, we're not sure. And finally, one last topic I want to talk to you guys about is, I know I spoke about it before, Anton's shaving situation. Uh, finally, he's met someone who, um, who shaves him. Kim, it's Bell. not OK. Do it's you not, not think? OK. No, they've known yeah. each other for a week. I think, I think it shows that they've got a good relationship. If that's what he needs, that's what he needs. No. Well, you, I mean, you were uh, Britain's, I think, second best hairdresser, weren't you? Oh. Well, I like, yeah, well, around them stats, <laughs> around them stats. Um, so have you, ever, have you ever done that? Was that ever part of the routine? Well, no, clients have come in and asked unusual requests, but I've never really gone that far. Have I don't start saying to them, look, Have you ever shaved your own? Phil, it's not really the time to be talking about stuff like <laughs> yes, this, I'm brutally honest with totally you. It's not, this is not why Don't I'm here. Don't you end up with, a, like, a really stubbly bum, though? Well, I, I was saying before this morning, <laughs> if you shave fluff, it turns aggressive, and then it's, like, hair that's, like... <laughs> and, you know, you're going to have a prickly no bottom comment, until the no end of comment, time. No comment, guys. <laughs>